here. This is a review of the same the brand engine, Beta 3, which has just been released in XDA. So right from the start we can see from the lock screen that we have our clock and our music widget and we can swipe off to unlock and to begin with these guys on XDA have done a hard work to port all Xperia S features on our phone you can see the music widget is actually the exact same widget which is in the Xperia S here's a widget called tools which I really like it allows you to turn off certain things that you are common to use here are the music wi uh, the, the friends widget from Timescape which shows you the status of your friends in Facebook or Twitter or, that or other services uh, the music app is a brilliant app on this ROM because it's like Xperia S and NXT style you can see that you can swipe, swipe to the right to change tracks and we have here music tracks, album, artists, playlist and we have even sends me channels so it's a quite good port so let's jump off to some of the basic apps that you will find in this ROM which is the phone app which until now had a lag so they said they fixed that but I clearly don't see any difference between this version or the the past version it is clearly a little more responsive than the last one but it again stacks a little bit you can see right there it just freezes and then comes back so then we have our SMS app which in which we can find the new T9 keyboard from Sony or the full QWERTY keyboard with a gesture type so it can predict some words you can see right there I'm so it's quite good it isn't correct all the times but it gets the job done easily so then we have our top contacts widget which is pre-downloaded to the ROM and we have the browser right here which is terrible it's gingerbread so it is terrible for its own so I recommend downloading Dolphin browser which is twice as fast as the stock one so as you can see from the Dolphin browser you can do uh, lots of other things uh, like you can see your history right there swiping to the left and your add-ons swiping to the right so it's really quick, sorry for the low internet speeds what else we can see the alarm app which is very good and from the options of creating an alarm you have a style option you can either set it for sunrise or mountain mountain set which I really don't know what this is but it's nice it's a nice little feature it will come quite handy and then we have our camera 
which I'm really disappointed about. I would expect it to be somewhat modded to look like Xperia S camera, but it isn't. It's just the stock Android 2.3 camera, which is quite sad. And then we have our so-called Xperia gallery, in which you can find even the Facebook pictures of your account. And as you can see, it's quite slow because it normally would uh, be on a phone with a larger, with a greater performance and a greater CPU. But it gets a job done. So you can see we have our profile pictures. And here we can like them or comment on them and everything. Um, as with the videos, it's actually quite nice. For having been around with Jelly Bean along for long, I find it very. I found myself very pleased to see finally a good quality of video playback on my phone because. As you know, Jellybean can support HD video encoding and recording, so it's actually quite nice. And then we have our calculator, which is actually quite nice too, because when you turn it to landscape, it turns into a scientific calculator with roots and that kind of stuff. And we have a bunch of themes, the so-called NXT themes. We have Sapphire, Ruby, Gold, Emerald, and Amethyst to choose. My personal preference is Tortoise. Here are the settings. We can see that it's, it is actually jelly bean, gingerbread, sorry. And I think that's it. That's all about it. So, see you in my next video. Bye.